Econolite. Moving traffic forward. Welcome to this first video tutorial on the Autoscope Vision software called Supervisor. The first thing I want to mention is about screen resolution. With the Supervisor software, you need a screen resolution of at least 1280 by 720 to be able to see everything on the screen. Most modern computers easily have this much resolution and more. Uh, if you don't have that resolution set at least, then you will not necessarily see all the columns of the software. You cannot size it down all the way. Okay, let's get started. The front screen of the supervisor has a listing of the different devices, uh, the comm managers and the vision cameras. And then you've got your device names as they've been entered in the system and user status. Uh, the firmware version is shown for each of the devices and then over here is the unique device ID and if you click the little down arrow next to a device you can see the firmware again you can see the serial number of the unit and so forth useful information the search is a very helpful thing uh, if you've got lots of devices and want to be able to filter down and see devices along a certain corridor for instance I can type in for instance Grove here and we'll just get a couple devices that are on that street for instance. It doesn't even have to be the first word. If I were to put mission for instance or M-I-S-S -S, you see it filters that one out. On the left we have the operations log where for any device you can uh, highlight the device and look at the operations log. Do a firmware update and a firmware update is as simple as going in and opening up the file of the software you're going to download and uh, typically the software that you're running will have the, that version for that software so this is the 2.5 software here um, and then you would highlight that and then hit start install and it would begin installing program settings this is where you can set up those uh, descriptions uh, to be custom or the default the default is that the descriptions for each device just have a, a generic name called description one two three four um, there's also some other definitions but I like the custom where you can type in exactly what you want those descriptions to, to be for instance device name installed on installed by and so forth and if you do that then when you go into a device like this com manager here and go to device settings you'll see the device name, installed by, and so forth are listed because uh, you define them. Now you can click on any column and sort, for instance, I can sort by what's online and what's offline. The uh, lightning bolt shows the ones that are online and sort by the device name and so forth. And then over here on the command section, this learn the network sends out a, a broadcast and learns anything on a flat no network. Here's a uh, soft restart of any device if you highlight. If you have any devices that are any call manager set to manual time as, as opposed to TS2 or an NTP server, then you set time here. Then you can also open an archive that was previously saved off so you can look at, uh, for instance, look at the calibration, look at the uh, zones. Lastly, you can add a device by an IP address of the call manager if it's on a routed network and can't be seen by just a plain broadcast. Another important feature of Supervisor software is help is available at any screen using the F1 key. For instance, if I'm in a comm manager and on the firmware update page, I can hit F1 and it brings up help specifically to the for the firmware update. So any page I'm on, just hit F1 and you'll get context sensitive help. That's it for this overview of the home screen on Supervisor. Please watch the rest of the videos as we're going through the various capabilities and features for the cameras, the comm manager, data collection, and so forth. They're very short, but very informative. Thanks.